Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Dragon Fable. In the last part, we broke into the Ice Elves area, got captured, and then escaped. Now, we're off to go meet the Kilgwins Arena. Uh, greetings. Because Aisha, the Queen of the Ice Elves, is gathering her forces to destroy this town with dragons. So, we're off to go visit the Kilgwins, the Ice Tuskers, and the Ursice bears? Oh, whoops, I skipped past some stuff. Your takes to win the Kilgans over to our side. If you don't, I shall will. So, fortunately, these guys don't have as much health as they used to, but it looks like because we saved Yanoth, he's not ready for another adventure. He uninvited himself from our party. Not the end of the world. Technically speaking, it would have been better if he was off visiting one of the other groups while we were doing this. Uh, but instead he can stand in town and just um, hang out with his cardboard cutout friend. We aren't super worried. The Kilgwins, we fought them already before. Um, they're going to go down with fire and we have quite a lot of firepower on our side. Uh, between Drake, who will come and set things up fire. Wow, he still does decent um, burn, but not even, I guess crits aren't guaranteed. Unless you're using, you know, a guaranteed crit move, which I love that it seems that every single class has that. Welcome to the Killy Willy Tribe Battle Arena. We have not seen humans here for a very long time. Oh, it's the little penguin pad. The Linus. I am Emperor of the Kilgwins. You may call me Linus. Now, what do you want? Greetings, Your Highness. My name is Jenny Soilus. I have come to ask your help in the name of the people of Dragsvard. Dragsvard? Those humans have wronged us for too long. We would never help them. Great, Linus. What have humans done that wronged you? Eat our fish. Sorry, did you say your fish? Yes, our fish. You're going to take all the fish and leave you none? No, they only take some of the fish. I'm sure your reaction's a little extreme. Seems to be enough fish to go around. What's about? We're Kelgwins. Do you see any houses? Any crops? No? All we have is ice and fish. We don't like the taste of ice very much. Taking our fish. Any of our fish. It's a pretty big deal. Your Highness, the Queen of the Ice Elves is amassing an army to ranch against Dragsvard, and she won't stop there. Once humans are gone, your people will be next. Let's put apart our differences and unite to defend ourselves. Sure, there must be some way you can come to trust my people. We are aware of the situation with the Ice Elves. My people will not be easily convinced. But there is a way. Those Northlands are harsh and unforgiving. It will take a will of steel to endure the bitter cold. Let's we'll test your endurance, hero. I'll send my card's greatest warriors to face you here in the Ice Arena. You can survive every battle. Then you will have our respect. Do you agree to this contest? I do not fear battle, Highness. I agree to your test of endurance. I applaud your courage, human. Or I would if I didn't have these tiny flippers on either side of this adorably round body. First, you face a single one of my warriors. Let the contest begin. That was just a warm-up round. Let's see how this next round go. Two of my warriors. Far too easy for a dragon to love your might. Perhaps three of my warriors will be more of a challenge for you? I mean, yeah, I'm actually going to take some damage this turn. I don't have any way of blocking all... Well, I could have put up defense and then killed them over a few turns, but... That's, that's a lot of work when I could just beam them. Oh. I guess it's a sign. I should have had you as fire. It's fine. I can hear my tribe whispering on the outside arena. They're beginning to see your power. Now for the real test, you must face two of my personal guards. Wait. Um. You're not that different. Like, honestly speaking, 
you just have slightly more health. One final battle remains. With the most difficult, you must battle and defeat the Kilibali tribe's greatest warrior. Even if you fail, know that you have earned our admiration. Good luck. Okay. You need to boost the strength of the things you send. I get that, yes, this is like the sixth or seventh in a row. But if they all have 600 health, bested all of our best fighters, hero, you've beaten my challenge. You're the king, don't I get to battle you? Oh, heavens no. Kirkman select their leaders on the basis of adorability and cuteness. I'm a leader, not a fighter. It's an impressive display, hero. You've earned the respect of my people. Thank you, Highness. Thank you on behalf of Dragsvard. We'll begin preparations for the defense of your town and our time immediately. You've gained a powerful ally this day. When the battle for Dragsvard begins, we will be at your side, Jem. You did it. Linus and the Kilgwins have agreed to join forces to help Dragsvard against the Ice Elf Queen. Next up, the Ice home camp. Kilgun, Foka. I, I honestly would have been perfectly fine with just getting that adorable penguin on my side. But, oh, okay, so we can see there was already a quest called Gary. Interesting. We'll keep that in mind. Fairfax, did well with the Kilgwins, far better than I could have hoped. And you returned just in time. Received a message from a shaman of the Earth's Ice. It was more of a dream. I was told to send you to the Ice Islands to the south at a very specific time and date. Today. Now. I've had one of the drags white supply rafts provide for you. Prepared for you. You need to leave right now. Once you arrive, I'm going to tell you what you need to do to convince the bears to join us. Good luck. Hello, I've been expecting you. Who are you? I am Garol Blackclaw, shaman of the Earth's Ice Savages. I have seen visions of the future, and I know the Queen of the Ice Elves and her dragon army will destroy all in that path. Try to convince our leader, Huntmaster Frull, the danger. But my people distrust magic. Joining the humans of Dragsword may be our only hope. Tradition says you must present a great gift to be heard. Please, you must find this gift and convince my people to join you. A, a great gift? It's our custom to present a gift to the Huntmaster before asking for a favor. My people would be opposed to joining the humans, but they would follow the Huntmaster. There's only one gift that would be great enough to be irresistible to my people. A picnic basket. Picnic basket? We are bears. We cannot resist the siren call of a picnic basket. I don't know where you get one. There's a reason I ask Alice to send you on this very day. A group of local frost goblins having a picnic. You will find them on one of the neighboring ice islands, which is connected by this one by ice bridges. Once you have the gift, continue down the path and it leads you directly to my village. That is dangerous, but I can see your power. Help us. You're our only hope. Okay. So, effectively, we are dealing with Yogi Bear here, who wants a picnic basket. Wow, that did not kill. I'm a little sad, and I should have used Nova. But that, that's on me. Don't worry about it, and then Nova for the second hit, because the second hit is always going to need it. I definitely thought the small part was the actual bridge, and not the full... A uh, chunk that it is. We are making some good progress, and there is quite a bit uh, more story in this than I was expecting. I still can't believe that it's just like, yeah, you know that one enemy that's still on the map? We can ignore him. It, it made no sense. I wonder if the they assumed no matter which path you took, you wouldn't have one of those last. So it just was only checking if you finished all the bears and uh, goblins. I just hit him right in the eye. It's fine. They will never see it coming. They'll never see anything again. Oh, wow, actually. Picnic Lord. Wait, the Picnic Lord has the exact same HP. 
I it's so disappointing when they that's the situation because it's like what's the point of having um the picnic lord be some big special thing if it's the same HP as a regular enemy. I didn't crit on that one, come on. Um, did I did I get the picnic basket? Don't think I did. Like it doesn't feel like that counted, but I I guess I just gotta trust trust the process. Our health is actually getting a bit lower than I'd like. Dragon Slayer has not been playing well with us. Let's start using blood and see if we can heal back up as we go there. Because like we do have a few rounds. And 1700 is plenty of HP, let's be entirely honest, but we also have a good chance to. There's not much it can do to stop us, especially when we're suddenly up against things with a lot less HP. Like, I'm sure they hit harder, and that's the logic behind it, but... Um, if they don't live long enough to hit, they can't hit harder. Ah, ha ha, you must be the hunt master. I come bearing gifts. Humans are so strange, but I cannot endure, ignore tradition. Or the gift of a picnic basket. What would you ask of me? I know you carry weight, a lot of weight with your people. I'd ask on behalf of my people that you join with us in the coming battle. Again, Aisha, the Ice Elf Queen. Ah, this is Blackloth stink all over it. I have told the shaman that I do not trust his dreams. All right, then I'll take this tasty picnic basket and we'll be on our way. Wait, I uh, would never refuse people who've come to assist us, who've come to us for help. We will assist you, you have my word. Now leave the picnic basket and get out of here. Barry may be proud and rude, but they keep their oaths. You've gained another powerful ally in the coming war against Aisha and her ice dragons. All it cost you was a picnic basket. Oh, the Claw of Might. I'm actually interested in that one. What does it look like? It's just a, a stone on a stick. The Kelgrim Poker. That looks actually pretty interesting. It feels like, like a razor, but... Yeah. So... We only have one, two, three, four, five quests left. In the next part, we will start Long in the Tooth and get the Tuskers to join us before we get ready to take on the Ice Queen. See you guys then.